Hello, my name is Alexander Kerr from ARI and in this short tutorial I am going to show you some new features of the 1.0 release of the Amira Color Tool. If you are completely unfamiliar with the Amira Color Tool, check out the introduction video in which I explain the general workflow of the software in combination with the Amira camera and post-production tools. But now let's have a look at what is new in the first release of the Amira Color Tool. When you look at the main toolbar, you will see that we added a button for a metadata panel, which shows you the metadata values of the currently shown clip. There is information about the clip, the camera and the image. And in the third tab, you find details about the look parameters that have been applied to the image in the camera. The look library now provides some demo look files that you can directly apply to your footage. Some of these looks are also available in the Amira camera. I will now show you how to create a sepia look and make use of some of the new features. To start with, I select a log C clip in the file browser and open the look editor. First, I lower the saturation and drag the CDL offset control toward the warm brownish color. This is a good starting point and to save this intermediate look, I just press N on the keyboard. The look is automatically named and saved in the look library over here. To influence the highlight roll-off, I will play with the knee value. Let's see... Yes, that looks quite good, doesn't it? If you're not sure about your last change, you can easily check your last modification with the shortcut Command plus Z. You can also undo the changes that you made further back in time, so that you have full control over your look creation process. If you need some more detailed pixel information, click on the new pixel picker symbol in the main toolbar and drag the mouse over the region of interest. Let's for example have a look at the pixel values in the window over here. You can see that the red channel will be clipped in this region. The other channels still have some headroom. I think that's fine for this look. I also want to decrease the details in the shadows with a lower black gamma value. Just like that. Great, that's a look I want to have in my library. I just click File, Save As and give it a proper name. Once I confirm this dialog, the new look is shown in the look library. Before I wrap up, I quickly want to show you the Preferences dialog. Here you can set a home directory for the file browser and the look library area. And you can set the file format for snapshots. You can also define a pixel averaging area for the pixel picker. If you for instance set it to 5x5, the displayed values will be the average pixel values of all pixels in the set rectangle. Well, that's all for today. Once again, check out the Amira Color Tool introduction video if you want to learn more about the entire Amira Color workflow.